Hicham Jaber, who is the head of the Middle East Center for Studies and Research in Beirut. Thanks so much for speaking to us. You know, all this is happening as the foreign minister, uh, sorry, the finance minister, the new finance minister actually, is saying that if Lebanon doesn't get foreign assistance soon, the country will go bankrupt. Is it that serious? I know him uh, personally, the new minister of finance. He, be, he is an uh, expert uh, in the finance, but he made the statement uh, uh, today he was, uh, you know, uh, you know, silly, uh, refused by the population. Uh, Mr. Wesney, the new minister, belonged to uh, Nabi Berri, the head of the parliament. Anyway, uh, this government uh, was born and <coughs> The population uh, refused uh, this government because uh, most of the minister, of course, they are academic, but formal advisor uh, to this uh, political uh, class, political establishment. Anyway, uh, I don't want not comment, uh, Mr. Wesney, uh, uh, you know, statement. The whole thing in Lebanon uh, is this. Salvation government or this Hezbollah government, like they refused it. You know, we don't know yet. In my opinion, um, uh, protesters in Lebanon uh, must take a break a little bit and give this government delay or chance to show within one month or two months what it can do. This government facing has to face many challenges. First, the parliament, uh, second, the people, the protesters, and the third, the international society, like I said, accused to be, you know, pro Hezbollah. If, if Washington accepts this government, we don't know yet. We must okay. to make a, a diplomatic, you know, movement to convince them. Anyway, anyway, this uh, government has to show from day one. If it can confisc, you know, the right. properties was stolen from the state and the sea and the land and the and the and the bank. Uh, anyway, population, okay. you know, wait and will decide. Right. So you're saying the the protesters yes. should take a break. Thank you. Give this government a chance. But they have said this government. Many of them have said, as we were actually just hearing from our correspondent there, that this government is actually worse uh, than the one they just got rid of. Uh, because they are still beholden to sectarian interests uh, in Lebanon and sectarian-led parties, including Hezbollah. Um, but I'm wondering, because that is the way the government was set up after the civil war in Lebanon, where those sectarian interests had to get representation proportionately, how do you overturn that system at this point? Is it, is it possible? I think we have to wait. Uh, we, you know, it's right what you said. Everybody, everybody knows this. I think this government has to show now we have to wait to see what is the statement, statement of the government, uh, what is the program of the government. There is single, you know, uh, important points in the statement uh, in the government. Uh, people and army and resistance. What is the resistance? Resistance means Hezbollah. I think they cannot put it again. It will be refused by Washington. And I have another suggest for them, I told them. Anyway, uh, this government must to show uh, what it can do. Uh, as a matter of fact, the population don't trust, you know. Okay. Anyway, the political establishment, political system, and they know those uh, those ministers came from their uh, uh, side, their uh, advisors. They obey uh, okay. to their masters. That's the problem, you right. know. But you have a government; it's better than nothing, than vacuum. Okay, Hisham Jabba, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for joining us from Beirut.